Hi, welcome to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be unboxing the finally reprinted Combat Commander Pacific from GMT Games by the late great Chad Jensen. This is the um, it was the third big box in the Combat Commander series, but it's a separate game. It's an expansion to Combat Commander Europe. Um, it gets a little bit confusing, and we'll do this in another video, but. Uh, where Battle Pack number four comes in instead of being Pacific Battle Pack number one. They kind of like interleaved it in with the other Battle Packs. So, um, same basic system, uh, just in Pacific Theater, some special rules for uh, Japanese fighting techniques. But this is the 2019 second printing. Uh, I believe it just came out uh, toward the end of last year. And uh, let's just crack it open and see what you get inside. All right, so we get the Combat Commander Pacific rule book, and it's a little brighter paper. It may just be that the other one for Combat Commander Europe is older, um, but it's the uh, very clear um, GMT matte finish rule book. It looks like it's pretty much laid out. This uh, Combat Commander is the rule book. Period. Best rule book for any game ever, ever, ever. So uh, there is no topping it. And I'll go ahead and say that because I guess something could come out in the future. And then you get the playbook. So this is the scenarios. And unlike Combat Commander uh, Europe, where they're numbered scenarios, these are scenarios A through L. Uh, I'll give you how to set up some additional rules, caves. Uh, melee they're in here and then you've got the scenarios a little disappointed they didn't take the opportunity here again I've said this on the reprint of Comeback Commander in Europe that just came out to make these uh, on cardstock uh, they would just be so much so much more functional uh, the later battle packs do have those for Europe and I assume for uh, New Guinea the battle pack for this so it'd be nice to not have to have pulled out the playbook, but to actually be able to pull out cards. So anyway, so you'll get that. So let's say the rule book is 32 pages. And the playbook is 32 pages. And then we've got our counters. Now these are a standard uh, punch out on a grid sprue so you might need to round them um, they're not the pre-rounded but this so they blend them with the others so this sheet is going to be your uh, looks like some weapons additional markers uh, the wire smoke blaze now that's an interesting that's an interesting twist here i don't know how that's going to play in on uh, europe the blazes one side and that masks what smoke you have but in this case blaze is blaze and smoke is its own thing so like this one's a one all right they're the same thing so i guess you just draw randomly you don't have to worry about about seeing them or something um you can draw from a coffee cup or something so all right so we have weapons for the uh, the Americans and for the Japanese. All right. And we got Japanese counters here with the rising sun behind them. Well, I have to take that back. Excuse me. I'm incorrect as usual. Let's come back here. These are American. These are the Anzac, the uh, Australian and New Zealand forces. Uh, these are the weapons for the Japanese. So again, here you've got um, the American teams, the Japanese forces, and the Anzac forces here are a little lighter. So you get three sheets of counters. You get your objective tokens. You got a fighter. It's interesting. You got some air combat going on here. So three sheets of counters. Your maps. So there are A through L is what, 12 missions? So. We have, should have 12 maps. Usually there's a map permission in the base game. 
So there should be six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then they're double sided. So let's take a quick look here. The mouse. Getting excited just looking at this because Comic Man is just such an awesome game. Um, something, something new that I have not seen before is you've got these uh, arrows going off the map, so that'll be interesting to find out what those are for. And it seems they all have them, so it's like there's obviously a rule about them. So here's map number B or letter B. So you get six maps and they're folded. Uh, you know, this is one game that has a lot of, since it has a lot of maps, unfortunately mounted would not be uh, really probable or uh, practical is the word I'm looking for. Um, so these are paper maps. So we just get a poster, uh, some plexiglass, put them under there. You got United States Order of Battle. Reference cards here for this will be used for uh, certain events in the game. Will allow you to uh, draw new forces or use the random scenario generator to create orders of battle. So the support tables where you would uh, get units during the game, and the uh, order of battle is for building your forces in the random scenario setup. So we have a Japanese set and what they're calling the Pacific Commonwealth, which is the Anzac Forces. So you have three cards, three reference cards for that. We get a terrain chart that shows you uh, the effects, uh, the movement, the cover, the hindrance, line of sight, etc. And that's single-sided, glossy, firm cardstock there. We get the um, Reference sheet for fire attack, melee, uh, discard limit for the different forces. Uh, apparently there's night battles, which is introduced. That's a new feature uh, in this game. Um, some of these were optional rules that were added through uh, C3I Magazine, I believe, for Combat Commander. Victory point values chart, that's nice to have out. Hand size, stacking limits, also single-sided. So these reference cards you'll just have out when you need them. And you get your track display, and this looks roughly similar to the one for Europe. Um, you got your order of battle, you got the victory track, casualty track, uh, objective box, and then there's this new box called infiltration to find out what that's about. So, and then more terrain references or. Uh, Improvements, references, we've got a cave, uh, flamethrower, the plane, uh, fortifications. So. And then we have our cards, card-driven game. It's an amazingly great card-driven game. So this little packet is your initiative card and the some different operations. This is asset denied request options, uh, which is apparently a different order. So you get those cards. And then each of the three forces have their own, uh, what's called a fate deck. And that is what drives the game. There's 72 cards per deck. And they do your die rolls. They're played for your actions. They're, they're played for your orders. They're played for actions. They're played for events, generating random hexes. And like I said, for die rolls and then triggers that may happen. Um, and we won't open those in detail but so you get three decks i like the white color there for the japanese fate deck it's very nice and if you pick up combat commander pacific as of the 2019 printing you are going to get the three fate decks us commonwealth japanese some reference cards you're going to get your uh, track display Gonna get a reference sheet for uh, orders and limits, as well as the terrain chart for each uh, nation or each force. You're gonna get the orders of battle and support tables. You're gonna get six, I believe they're 22 by 17 maps for double sided for 12 different maps, one for each scenario. 
a 32 page playbook and a 32 page rule book and three sheets of counters most of them are um let's see uh five eighths inch there are a few here the weapons are smaller you get three sheets of counters and a nice big sturdy box to hold it all in so that is what is in combat commander pacific from gmt games designed by chad jensen thank you so much for watching god bless you have a great day bye bye oh